Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Chan from Modern Integrative Medicine, and I've had a few patients ask me about food allergy testing and allergy testing in general. So we're out here in the fields, and you see some people can get um, a lot of hay fever type allergies from the environment. And the type of allergy testing that you usually get from your medical doctor is called a scratch test. So that's a skin scratch test. And that is actually accurate for usually environmental allergens such as pollen, ragweed, dogs, cats, molds, things like that. But when it comes to food allergies, a scratch test is really not accurate. So if you're looking to see if you're allergic to things like milk, wheat, eggs, soy, then a scratch test is really not the best test. So let me tell you a few different tests that are great for detecting some food sensitivities. You really want to do a blood test. Uh, the first test is called an IgE test, and that is testing your immediate hypersensitivity. So that's usually more of an anaphylactic type reaction, such as like a peanut allergy where your throat gets all swollen immediately after you eat. So as you can see, a lot of people have food sensitivities that might cause problems like concentration issues, fatigue, ADHD, maybe um, a little bit more mucus that's chronic in the respiratory tract, asthma, eczema, gastrointestinal problems. So when those problems come into play, the types of tests you want to run is more of an IgG, which is more of a delayed hypersensitivity test. So that's also a blood test. So that's those are uh, much better tests, blood tests, than the skin tests that you do. And then there's some other testing that we can discuss that will also test the way that your immune system reacts non-specifically to allergens as well, which is more of an inflammatory response. So here's some of the answers to the different types of allergy testing, your skin, your blood IgE, and your blood IgG allergy tests. Thank you so much for watching.